Hello everyone, Chris Peterson here bringing you some live blitz commentary. Uh, someone suggested that I should do more, so I guess I'll do some more. Uh, I'm going to be playing on this website called chess.com. It's a it's a pretty fun website. They have a lot of uh, features in it. You can bet for cubits and crowns and I think I might be mistaken, but crowns are like money, kind of. So it's almost like betting for real money. Um, on this website, I guess my rating is 22.59, and I'm playing this Russian guy who's 21.45. Um, so I guess we'll see how this game goes. It started out as a Karo Khan defense. Um, an interesting variation of the Karakhan defense, anyway. Uh, I had a tournament game like this against um, a local A player who's pretty much an expert, just uh, his rating dropped a little low. Um, in this exact same line, pretty much, so... Uh, I'm not an expert in it at all, <laughs> so... Uh, as per usual, I'm just making up stuff as I go. So I brought my bishop back so I can play h3 and kick kick this bishop out of here. Uh, he's going to double my pawns, so that's okay. Uh, but now I have the two bishops, so that's going to be good. Well, no, I don't, because I gave up my bishop there. Uh, so what do I have for my cruddy pawns? Well, I could potentially have an f-file thing going on. Um, I could expand in the center with e4, which will be good, if he'll let me. And I'll, I have a good knight outpost on e5, so I think I'll go for that. Oh, I just hung an exchange. Okay, or did I? I can play rook f4, and that hits the knight, and then he'll retreat his bishop somewhere. Or can you play f5 and then queen takes, knight takes, pawn, queen, chief, queen, somewhere. I think rook f4 is probably the best idea here. So, I mean, I'm going to get my piece back, but my pawn structure looks pretty bad, and I'm probably going to be losing the g-pawn. So I, I'm going to have to whip up some kind of an attack on his king. Um, so that that's no good. Uh, but I've been in much worse situations before. If I go queen f3, he might be able to play g5 at some point and trap my rook. But he can't do it right away because I'll just take his knight. So maybe it's not so bad. And then... And then after knight e4, I can play queen h5. But then queen g, f then queen g5. <coughs> so maybe my best move is queen c4, which uh, threatens the e6 pawn, and then I can go something like um, I'm not sure yet. Trying to figure out what to play. I think queen c4 is probably fine. Yeah, I thought he might do that. Uh, I don't want to trade, so I guess I'll just vote queen b4. He doesn't have any threat, so that's okay. Oh, I didn't see that. Crap. So uh, this game's not going well at all. <laughs> uh, I do have a really awesome knight, and he has no open files, so um, his rook, ex him being up in exchange, doesn't mean um, mean a whole lot at the moment. Although he's going to get an open file now with c5, which would be pretty annoying. Uh, so my game plan now is just to keep control of the files if I can, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Uh, I think I'll take that. 
If he plays queen takes, I think I'll be okay because I'll just trade queens and uh, put pressure on the e pawn, and maybe I can hold this position to a draw. But that uh, pawn takes, and I need to get my queen rerouted on to attack his king. So I go queen a5, and maybe I can go queen c7. Maybe. I'm not sure. This this is pretty hideous. Um, I think I'll just play pawn here. Queen d2 would be annoying, and I have to go rook f rook f1. Uh, I think pawn here. C4. He goes queen d4 on my pawn here. Then I have to play g3 or rook f1. That's no good. Um, maybe I'll play. Queen a6 is kind of cool because it, it puts pressure on e6, so I can move my knight, say, to g, g6 and po potentially take his e6 pawn. Uh, I mean, right now I, I have nothing for the exchange, so any material that I can pick up would help me hold this position to a draw. Uh, trying to look for a plan for him. What is the purpose of s rook c7? It frees his queen up to move because his queen was tied down to his rook and it potentially he wants to play c4. Not entirely sure. If I play knight g6 now he can play rook, rook e8. Uh, and then it's not entirely clear what my knight is doing. So maybe I want to force him to move something first. I don't know. I'll just play a quiet move. See what see what he's gonna do. So it's gonna be tough for him to find moves because uh, his his queen's on the D file, but there's no penetration at the moment. So. All right, maybe I can play queen b5 now, and that gives me two potential checks: a check on e8 and a check on b8. And a check on b8 would be pretty devastating because I would pick up his rook. Uh, so that prevents that, and I'm running low on time, so I'll probably have to move really fast now. So I'll just bring my queen into a menacing position. It doesn't really do anything, but uh, could it could lead to something. I don't know. Uh, and I think I'm just going to be moving fast and probably blundering every other move now. Uh, he was attacking my rook, so I just moved it really quick. Uh, maybe I can rook lift to g3 or rook lift somewhere. Uh, maybe my knight can get into the action here somehow. Now he has a check, but I think my king is okay if I just back up. I don't think he wants perpetual. Uh, if I can go knight, knight d7, I can win the exchange back, because he'll be forced to play rook takes f8 if he allows it. He's not going to take perpetual here, is he? There's no way. I don't really have a choice if, if he keeps doing it. Uh, I don't think that does anything, so I'll just go here. Oh, he's going to threaten mate now? No, he can't, so I'll just play knight check. Takes. Uh, I just lost my rook, but that's okay. I'm just low on time anyway. Oh. Uh, I don't know why he did that. He could have just won the rook. Um, so I'm kind of in a bad shape here because um, he has a pass pawn and I don't, and that's usually pretty decisive in queen endings. If it was just, and also time, so so he won. It wasn't really worth anything because we weren't betting any cubits, but 
yeah. So that's that game. Who was that? M deck. Okay. So pretty interesting game. It, I mean, it's tough to play and talk the first time, especially since I haven't done this for uh, I don't know, probably more than a year. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys next time.